Hey, Shalom and Markins, this is Vakama Kapash from Jimmy Slalom, giving all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rachakwadash. When they get double honors unto the elders, the apostles of GMS, and Shalom, I'm at there. So the whole product is is truth and not sincerity. Just uh, back with another quick video. Um, as you see here, uh, you, had the, you had the terrorist attack in, um, in, in Russia, right? Which reportedly has killed uh, 130 people, right? And from the incident in, uh, that 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 event that took place, right? You got Russia blaming uh, Britain, U.S. and the Ukraine, okay, for or, or being behind that attack, which you know can cause well, will cause serious impl implications, right? Because this whole World War Three is 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 a brewing. And with animosities and tensions ever increasing, man, you know, Russia's gonna take this to heart, right? And it's gonna be used as, as fuel for the fire, right? To to um you know conduct this war, to get this war kicking, right? And so they're not gonna forget, they're not gonna forget this and and, and, and the plethora of things that they've they've done. Right, so when the time comes, okay, when that world free world war free finally kicks off, okay, they were they were you know they were they were reminded of these things, right? And this is what's going to lead to Russia, you know, setting nukes upon America, man, to destroy it. All right, so it's all going to add, to, you know, for, you know, to the fuel, the fire, you know, all these uh, events, and for Russia to directly blame, you know, Britain, the U.S., and Ukraine. Fuck Ukraine, but you know, US specifically in Britain, you know, is 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 a big thing. Right? Because that's for, to them that's like direct um conflict, you know, direct direct a direct attack. All right. So here's got Russia Ukraine latest. Russian spy chief suggests Britain, US, and Ukraine are behind concert hall attack. Russia's FSB chief Alexander Bortnikov has suggested Britain, the US and Ukraine were behind the Moscow concert hall attack, which killed more than 130 people on Friday. Okay. Uh, right. So I said they're being blamed right now. Okay. And there's been a back and forth of, you know, these, um, these nations blaming one another for, for, for different things. Right, it's been a big blame game, right? But like I said, all this is all this is doing is um, stoking tension, man. Creating that animosity required and needed, right? To to fight or to you know to um, you know conduct this World War Three that's gonna take place. You know, it's building up that hatred, building up that anger, right? And this is all prophecy. This is what some. This is what's supposed to happen. Okay, to bring these nations into warfare, to bring the whole world into warfare. Okay, the third world coming quickly. All right, so I just want to get a couple of priests, uh, get a couple of scriptures here. All right, and I'm going to start off with Revelation 20, verse 8. Uh, verse 7, I'm going to start off with, right? It says, when the thousand, and when the thousand years are expired, Satan shall be loosed out of his prison, right? And this is not speaking about the spiritual demon Satan, okay? This is speaking about Esau, okay? The physical counterpart, okay, of Satan, because Esau has been given the world to rule over, man. Okay, the, the Esau is nothing but Satan's spawn, <laughs> right? And they've been given the earth, okay, and so they've been given their time to rule upon the earth, okay, after the fall of um of Rome. Okay, when these Edomites were taken out of power, okay, they went into kind of obscurity, right? They were closed up for a thousand years and in, in, in you know shut up. Okay, but then they've been let loose again, and this is what they you know they brought around uh, the Renaissance period. Okay, the rebirth. Okay, the rebirth of what? Re the rebirth of 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 their kingdom, of their empire, of their rulership, and started you know doing all the iconoclasms and all that kind of stuff to assert themselves throughout history as as important figures, important men, you know, in the world, in the scriptures, and and all of that. Right to be to be set up as God, son of God, and so on and so forth. Right to make the world believe that he, you know this guy is the, is the pinnacle, right? 
so he's been set, he's been let loose. Okay, verse eight: I shall go out to deceive the nations. Like so, I mentioned all the all the lies, all the iconoclasms, and all that kind of stuff, and you know, I said all the, all the false philosophies that he pushes, right? And shall go out to deceive the nations which are in the four corners of the earth, right? Because Rome didn't have uh, power over the four corners of the earth, right? That's something that's happening in this time. Okay, America has influence over the whole world. Okay, um, so which are in the four quarters of the earth, Gog and Magog, to gather them together to battle, right? So their actions, Esau's actions, America's actions, you know, is drawing out Gog. Okay, which is Russia. Okay, they they dwell in the land of Gog. Okay, so everything that they've been doing has been drawing them out into this war, into this war. Right, and you can see the actions of, of America and and you know their their allied states, the allied nations, NATO, EU. Right, everything that they've been doing has been really been a, a aggressive towards Russia, treating them like an enemy, even though they were once partners, you know, allies in in World War Two, right? To, to, you know, to, to to defeat the Nazis and whatever. Right, they were allies, and all of a sudden, after the war was finished. Russia became like the new boogeyman and, and, and like, you know, how did that come about? You know, you had the whole space race, the whole nuclear race and, and all this kind of business going on. They didn't want to see Russia uh, become the dominant nation on the planet after that. Right. So they made sure, you know, that they, they were hindered. Right. You had the Cold War and all that kind of stuff. So uh, Russia, would, after being an ally, was set up to be an enemy. Right. Because there's always got to be an enemy. <laughs> Right, to fund the warfare, to to you know fund that fund that uh, military industrial complex, right? So yeah, so they've they've been you know bringing about this war by creating tensions um, between themselves and Russia, right? And and Russia has tried to you know done the best they could to to, to kind of play that. You know to survive and stuff like that because obviously they were going through some issues and they had to kind of back off. Right, that's when the Cold War kind of stopped, right? And they, they was making um, treaties and deals and stuff like that, you know, non non nuclear proliferation treaty and all these kinds of things, right? To kind of like get on, you know, with the rest of the, with the rest of these nations, right? But even even so, and Putin went, spoke about that in his in his interview with Tucker Carlson, you know, they were kind of being blocked all the damn time, trying to be a part of this and a part of that, and they just they were just being shown. Um, the cold shoulder, so to speak. All right, and obviously America has been sanctioning Russia and this and that and the Crimea thing and and all the all these things, right? NATO uh, encroaching on their borders and you know all of this, and so these are acts of aggression. All right, so they've they've continuously been drawing Russia out into this war that they've really been like kind of not wanting to be fair, you know. But they continue to to be you know being aggressive towards them. All right, so it says here. Um, I'm reading it again, verse eight, and shall go out to deceive the nations which are in the four corners of the earth, Gog and Magog, to gather them together to battle. All right, so they're gonna be drawn into to a fight. Okay, down there in the Middle East, you know, concerning uh, concerning Israel, because you know all that shit that's going on down there. All right, and it's gonna come a point in time where obviously America is gonna be attacked. Ain't gonna, ain't gonna stay there in the Middle East. Although the bulk of the fight is gonna be there, right? There's gonna come a point in time where Russia is gonna attack uh, America, and so with these other nations with nuclear weapons, they're gonna attack America in this war. And America's gonna be destroyed by it. All right. Uh, is Ezekiel chapter 38, verse 2. So the Son of Man set thy face against Gog, the land of Magog, the chief prince of Meshek and Tubal, and prophesy against him, and say, Thus saith the Lord Power, Behold, I am against thee, O Gog, the chief prince of Meshek and Tubal, and I will turn thee back and put hooks into thy jaws, and I will bring thee forth and all thine army, horses and horsemen, all of them clothed with all sorts of armor, even a great company with bucklers and shields, all of them handling swords, right? So events like this, this, this terror attack, that happened in Moscow, right? Is 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 things that are causing Russia to, you know, to be brought back into that, you know, war mindset, man. That Cold War mindset, 
uh, being, uh, you know, against the, the against the states, against the United States, right? Because if if they're openly blaming the U.S. and the U.K. and all that kind of business, that means that means you know they, you're in their sights essentially. They're not going to just let that go. They might not do nothing about it today, but who knows, right? <laughs> that 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 whole boat situation uh, in Baltimore and the bridge. I mean, it's possible that they could have done that. Maybe who knows? We'll see what the U.S. has to say. But maybe they'll blame them for that, you know. And then it's just a, just a blame game, right? Everyone's blaming each other for different things, and you know why this happened and why that's happened. And and, and like I said, that's just gonna cause greater tension between the two nations and, and and bring around that World War Three, okay? When the time comes, okay? We have to wait and see how this all unfolds. But you know, it, it's 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 being purposely done, right? Because the Most High's will and His prophecy has to be fulfilled. So these things are going to happen, all right? So they're being brought back into this war, uh, war mentality. And if you feel that, you know, if they're being blamed for directly attacking Russia and, and killing civilians or whatever, you, you know Russia's not going to just let that go, you know? This is, um, I will turn thee back and put hooks into thy jaws and I will bring thee forth and all thine army, horses and horsemen, all of them clothed with all sorts of armour, even a great company with buckles and shields, all of them handling swords, right? Because you've had the nations uh, cleaving unto, unto Russia, man, these weaker nations, right? Russia is a, as a massive, a, a good company of nations, okay, that want to side with it, like China, Iran, Syria, you know, the BRICS nations, right? Everyone wants to fucking sign up to the BRICS nations these days, man, because, you know, Russia and China are really kind of running that, you know? And they want to they want to uh, separate themselves from from uh, American and European powers. You know, working their own you know building building their own currency their own uh, economy without them interfering. Right, so they they have amassing allies. To, you know, which in, in the time comes, they're going to fight alongside them against you know America and and Europe. You know. Um. This is uh, Persia, Ethiopia, and Libya with them, all of them with shield and helmet. Goma and all these bands, the house of Togoma of the north quarters and all these bands and many people with thee. Be thou prepared and prepare for thyself, thou and all thy company that are assembled unto thee, and be thou a guard unto them. All right, and that's what Russia's been to these weaker nations, man. That's why Russia's been selling them all kinds of weaponry and defense systems and, and so on and so forth. You know, military expertise, uh, you know, all that kind of stuff, right? To help them out, to prevent... Um, you know, the West coming in and just fucking stomping them and taking their shit, you know? So they've been helping them out. I'm going to jump down to verse 10 here. All right, and it's, it's event, events like this, you know, the, the attack and whatever, that's going to trigger them. It's going to trigger them in that time to do what they're going to do, okay, in regards to launching their nuclear missiles, right? And verse 10 says this, uh, thus saith the Lord Yahweh, it shall also come to pass that at the time, at the, at the same time, shall things come into thy mind. They're going to think about all these things like, yeah, they did this, they did that, and they've been fucking around and, and, and all this shit, right? And they're going to think, fuck them, fuck them. Yeah, we're going to do it. We're going to, we're going to, and, and, you know, whether it's Putin, whether it's, you know, one of these generals, whoever it is that, you know, only presses that button, <laughs> the Lord's going to make press that button. Okay, they're gonna that, they're gonna press that button, man. That big that big juicy red button. They're gonna push it, push it, push it real good. They're gonna push it right, and and them them nukes wherever they are, right? Because they they're pretty littered around all over the place, right? They have got submarines and all kinds of shit, right? You be pushing that button, man, and and they're gonna launch their missiles, man, right? So it goes on to say, it shall come to pass that at the same time shall things come into thy mind, and thou shalt think an evil thought. Okay, the evil thought is to obliterate and annihilate America. With their nuclear arsenal, and, and it's never been done before. This is why it's going to be such a, such a great thing, such an evil thing to think like, because you know if if these are meant to be deterrents, right? No one should really want to use them. No one wants to use them because that's going to be the end of the, the, everything. You know, the end of, end of a on, end of a country, end of a nation, right? Because these these missiles are powerful, man. Way more powerful than the bombs that were dropped on Hiroshima and Nagasaki, man. Way more powerful, man. And if they turn around and launch all this, because they got the Russians got a lot, man. Right, a lot of these warheads and that. Right, if they shoot them, man, that's gonna be the end of America. It's gonna be the end. All everyone's gonna die. Everybody, all those civilians. 
right? Everyone's going to go, right? And so it is, it's a crazy thought to have. Yeah, I'm just going to wipe them out. I'm going to wipe them off the face of the earth. Wipe it off the map. You know, it's a mad thought to have, man. Knowing that you can do that, right? And you can just wipe out a whole nation like that. Right, so that's the, that's the evil thought that they're going to think, man, because they're going to think about all these times that America did this and did that and we're just fucking around with them, man. Yeah, no, nah, no, nah, I've had enough now. Nah, fuck them. That's what it's going to be. The most are going to put that, that thought and that spirit in their mind, man. And not only them, right? The most I say you're going to put the spirit in, 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 in their, um, uh, in, in the heads of the, head of the beast, the heads of the beast, okay, that the whore sit upon, right? The whore is America, man, and they should hate the whore, as scriptures say. And they're going to burn them with fire. So not only are the Russians going to have that fault, right? But obviously the spirit's going to be on these other nations, these ally nations to attack America also, right? With their nuclear arsenal. And America's going to be burnt, right? And, and, be, and become that lake of fire that scripture speaks about. All right? And you're going to have the angels there in, in the chariots blazing more fire on it. You know, America's going to be absolutely... Purged, right? I'm going to close out Joel 3 and 9. It says, Proclaim you this among the Gentiles. Prepare war. Wake up the mighty men. Let all the men of war draw near. Let them come up. Right? So like I said, they've gathered, they've gathered the nations together, man, to, to fight, to, to war. Right? Russia and their allies and, and US and their allies, they, they're all preparing for war. Right? All this talk about um, you know conscription and 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 having and not having you know the adequate um, you know equipment and stuff like that you know the armies is the the, the, the you know the manpower is too low and that kind of stuff we got to conscript and all this kind of stuff like because they know they got to prepare for this war and and they're not adequately equipped to to fight this war really and so they got to do something man they got to increase the spending they got to invest in this and build this and. Do all these kinds of things, man. You know, but Russia been doing that, man. These other nations have been doing that. Right? But they all understand that there's there's a war coming. All right? So beat your plowshares into swords and, and your pung hooks into spears. Let the weak say I am strong. Right? They've left off, you know, uh, you know, the, the the you know, being farmers and stuff like that. They're, they're spending more and more in, in the, into their military rather than their agriculture and things like that. You know? So assemble yourselves and come, all ye heathen, and gather yourselves together round about. Tiva calls thy mighty ones to come down, O Lord. Let the heathen be wakened and come up to, to up to the valley of Jehoshaphat, okay, which is the valley of, of Yahweh's judgment. Okay, Yahweh's Shapat is Yahweh's judgment. For there, there will I sit to judge all in the heathen round about, right? It's the most high gathering all these nations together. Not not to not for them to fight some war that someone has to win. Right, but read so the most I can judge them all, man, to destroy them all. That's the purpose of the war. It's not for you to, to you know, for, for these men to fight for their ideals and their freedoms and all this kind of bullshit. This, this, this ain't the type of war, <laughs> ain't that type of war, man. Right, the most I is bringing them together to fight so they can be destroyed. Right, there's gonna be no winners, only losers out of these nations, man. Okay, um. So put ye in the sickle for the harvest is ripe. Come and get you down. For the press is full. The fats overflow for their wickedness is great. Right, you're going to be gathered together like a bunch of grapes men waiting to be pressed. Right? It says multitudes, multitudes in the valley of decision. For the day of the Lord is near in the valley of decision. Right? So that's where these armies are going to be. They're going to be down there in the Middle East. Okay? The sun and the moon shall be darkened and the stars shall withdraw, withdraw their shining. The Lord also shall roar out of Zion and utter his voice from Jerusalem and the heavens and the earth shall shake. But the Lord will be the hope of his people. Okay, he's not the hope of the heathen. Okay, the Lord is the hope of his people, the children of Israel. Right? And the strength of the children of Israel. Right? He is our power, our strength. So shall you know that I am the Lord your God, dwelling in Zion, my holy mountain. Then shall Jerusalem be holy and there shall be no, no strangers uh, pass through it anymore and it shall come to pass that in that day that the mountains shall drop down new wine and the hills shall flow with milk and all the rivers of the judah of judah shall flow with waters and the fountain shall come forth of the house of the lord and shall water the valley of shittim egypt shall be a desolation and edom shall be a desolate wilderness okay this is representing america america's gonna be 
a wilderness after the, after the, you know, the nukes destroyed that place. Okay, for the violence against the children of Judah because they have shed innocent blood in their land. But Judah shall dwell forever and Jerusalem from generation to generation. For I will cleanse their blood that I have not cleansed for the Lord dwelleth in Zion. All right, so America is going to become a desolation, man. Okay, when these Russians and you know these other allied nations of America shoot their nuclear arsenal upon it, it's going to become a desolation. All right, but like I said, these things, you know, is what's going to fuel, you know, it's, it's fueling it. Okay, it's fueling that situation. All right, so I'm going to end it there. Uh, Lord willing, it's been edifying. And I'll catch you boys and sisters on the next video. So until next time I say shalom.